Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. Welcome back, by the way. If you'll spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. You think I'm a traitor? Maybe. So get out of this room. We need to hit this eye up here. Awesome. By the way, in Master Quest, the order changed. And I figured it out on my own because, well, you have to figure it out on your own. It doesn't tell you. After you get in the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things in the water, like fish and water. I'm trying to time this right because it does require some good timing. But usually it gives you plenty of time. And I timed that completely wrong. Come on. I don't need a duck. Yeah, it gives you plenty of time. You can almost not F up on that. It's almost impossible to screw up. How do you like that? Stand next to this block and grab a grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and pressing A while pressing the control stick towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Yeah, they really have to nail that information in your head, don't you? Don't they? The game testers must have had quite a problem knowing which... knowing when you can climb on it and when you can push it. Gave you the right. I think I'll use that stick. Thank you. Pretty much. I'll use it to light these torches. Okay. We're making great progress in this place. This Skotola will actually be facing the wrong way. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed that. How dare you! You got Deku Seeds! These are small heart seeds you can use for your slingshot. Awesome. Give me a stick. Yeah, I need a stick. Where are the rest of the eggs? I thought there were three. Okay. Easy prey. Pick us up more seeds. Cause we need some seeds for our slingshot so we can annoy old people with. Nothing in there yet. Well, we can't get there anyway, so let's head this way. I think there's a trick you can do here, but I'm not entirely sure that this will work. This is actually just a trick I came up with myself. It almost worked. <laughs> I guess I thought of that. Those bastards. Those sneaky bastards. And now I can't get back up there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to go all the way back around now. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I should just stick to the gate the, the way the game is meant to be played. Okay, yeah, we're back, and I'm gonna do it the right way this time. By the way, it took like a whole five minutes just to get all the way back here. <laughs> well, was it, or it might have been only like three, but 
It was longer than necessary, I'll tell you that. Whoa! Took me a while to figure that out, either. I mean, took, took me a while to fit, figure that out, too. To do what I just did, all you have to do is just use your shield when you're holding out a stick, and then you'll do this, which will let you duck low enough for you to uh, catch the web on fire. So, here are the three deck of scrubs that one told us about. Get them in this order. Two, three, one. I believe in Master Quest the order is three, one, two, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm about 10% sure. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Alright, let's face the boss. By the way, when I first played this as a kid, it really did actually scare me in a lot of parts. A lot of the places are like, they're just creepy. I mean, look at this. Everything's dark, you can't see crap, except that glowing thing up there, so you look at it and this happens. boss. He's got a... They're with a stick a bunch of times. By the way, here's something that not too many people know, I don't think. Basically, you can stun her when her eye is red. Done! I should have done that a whole lot faster, but I just wanted to show you that little trick I used. But yeah, that's what you use. You use sticks. Sticks are badass in this game. So, just like all other Zelda games, after you beat a boss, you pick up a heart container, and your maximum life gets increased by one heart. So that's enter through the portal and get the hell out of here. Well done, Beaner. Oh, jeez, do we have time for this? Yeah, I believe we do. I hope. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we don't. Crap. Okay, I don't know if the video cut off there, but if it did, welcome back. If not, then I guess we have time for this cutscene, but whatever. It's kind of long. Thou hast verily uh, demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet one. I have now have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yes. Now listen carefully. The wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. I think the text scrolls automatically here, so I don't need to worry about hitting the button anymore. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in a search for the sacred realm that is connected to the heart. Okay, I guess I do. For it is the sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Goddesses, to be specific, but whatever. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. I don't really understand the meaning behind that, but whatever. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. And my favorite, Ferora, the goddess of courage. Because she's green and... Kinda hot, I guess. I don't <laughs> I'll admit it. Whatever. <laughs>
what's going on. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru. Poured her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Foroi. With her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Three goddesses, their labor is completely departed to the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remain at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles became the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. How awesome is that? Wouldn't you just like to just like to get a hold of at least one of those things? <laughs> Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer them. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who casts the death curse upon me and sap my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Mater, <laughs> go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the prin princess of destiny. Dude, who could that be? Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. But whatever it is, it looked gorgeous. I mean, look at that translucent, transparent, ripply textures on that thing. That is awesome. <laughs> you got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. I'm digging around too much, and I'm running out of time. The future depends on thee, Beener. Thou art courageous. Navy the fairy, help Beener to carry out my will. I entreat ye. I don't have time for slow text. Navy, goodbye. This is Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Beaner. Goodbye. Great Deco Tree. Well, shit, what are we going to do now without the great Deku Tree? Oh my god, you got a pink fairy, that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, Beaner, what did you do? Um, I saved, the, you, I saved this forest. The great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do such a thing like that? It's all your fault. Jeez, what a douche. I wonder if Saria doesn't like you. Sorry, whatever. It's either Saria or Saria, whatever, I don't care. You can pronounce it however you want. Where'd she go anyway? She, she's still by my house. She doesn't have surveillance cameras around here, does she? I'll find them. I've always been wondering what this is. My theory is that it's me fighting Godzilla with a rock. Awesome! <laughs> I beat down Godzilla with a rock! 